feel like I'm going to see the Wizard of Oz in Emerald City. It's bright green and it's, it's absolutely awful. It's absolutely devastating and I'm very, very angry about it. People are calling it a requiem now because the lock is near death. We're saying it's dying. It's not dying of natural causes, by the way. It's been killed. It's been killed by polluters. It, it does worry me because there have been a few pet dogs dying and I think the ecology is changing um, unless we do something drastic about it now. In terms of biodiversity, this is really is almost the, the beating heart of Northern Ireland. And what you're looking at, out at here is a massive green algal bloom within Loch Ney, which is covering the entire loch and affecting the ecology of the loch within it. So we reckon about 60% of the problem is attributed to the farm industry. The other part of the issue would be poor wastewater treatment. A third part of the equation is maybe septic tanks. And then we're li living in a period of climate change that the, actually the temperature at the bottom of the loch has increased, we reckon, by maybe one degree. Final factor in all this is an invasive species, the zebra mussel, that eats the zooplankton and the diatoms in the water. What that does is it means that more sunlight penetrates the water, and because of more sunlight, there's more photosynthesis and more algal growth. So we reckon that could be the tipping, tipping point this year that has uh, brought this, uh, the bloom that we see today. It's been killed by polluters and the people responsible for that are the people who are paid to regulate the polluters and they haven't done it because the nutrient enrichment, the algal blooms, the toxins that are killing dogs and fish, we have been aware of this now for 30, 40 years. It's just happened to reach a peak. So we've known it's a problem, we've done nothing about it and we have allowed unfettered pollution to make it the state it is. Well, last summer when we were out doing our surveys, there were algal blooms and the water did look green in places. But this year, it's completely different. It seems to be a, a lock-wide problem and it's really thick and that horrible smell coming off it. It smells like gas. It's terrifying. It doesn't look healthy at all. Back in the 90s, there were just flies everywhere. And at the minute, it actually terrifies me that this year we've had hardly any fly. And I know my grandfather used to talk about when he was a wee boy, during the summer, he couldn't sleep for the noise of corn crakes. And that's a bird that's gone extinct in my granda's lifetime. If I have children, what species will I be telling them that I used to see a lot of that they no longer see? That, for me, really scares me. What you're looking at today sort of reflects the, the state of the environment in this part of the world. That nothing seems to be working and there's nobody available to fix it. There's no Department of Environment. That's another issue because the Environment uh, Agency, NIEA, is a junior partner within the Department of Environment, Agriculture and Rural Affairs. They have a board of 12 and only one of those represent the environment sector. So you can see where the emphasis lies. There's no independent environmental protection agency. Ireland has its own independent environmental protection agency. Scotland, England, Wales, Northern Ireland, no, we don't need it. What we need is an interdepartmental working group at a very senior level, led by a minister with senior civil servants at the table and resources to back it up. Politicians need to wake up and smell the coffee. It's straight in front of their eyes. Loch Ney is in crisis and they need to step up. After that, I'd like to see a separate Ministry of Environment because I think it's, uh, it needs to be divested from Department of Agriculture because we can see what that leads to. And we need a separate in independent, independent Environmental Protection Agency. It has to be independent and it has to be, have the ability to follow up on pollution incidents. The bad farmers, they have to be penalised. Quite frankly, they shouldn't be allowed to farm when you see what that's produced in this lock. What's happening with Loch Ney and the damage and the violence we're inflicting on it is exactly what's happened to the planet on a larger scale. So this is a bigger story. This is a bigger story about what happens when ecological systems break down. Suddenly it just happens and it's happened this summer.